All right, let's now create a product details page. So we'll click on this item to see its details. So let's go new file, product dash details dot HTML. Okay, so now on our products page, let's go to the top, let's highlight everything. Hey, there we go. Let's get everything there. Copy. And let's go to our product details. And let's paste that. We're going to leave all of that. We're going to leave our footer. We can let's delete all the way so you see these products 12 11 10 9 9 we're gonna keep 5 6 7 and 8 oh 5 6 7 8 all right let's delete that keep 8 keep product 8 okay delete Let's go ahead so we can start looking at that. You can close this, then go live again. And now we're here. So we got this is five, six, seven, eight. And now let's let's go ahead and delete these top ones all the way to small container boom and boom yeah I think so I like it yes save and we just have this one line boom 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 and we're gonna put this is gonna be our re related products related products oh I already had products there. That's fine. Save related products. Okay. Um, our header is good. We're going to leave that the same. And now we're going to do our work on our product details part. So let's go here, copy this, paste here, take that S off. Let's go single product details details Ooh. okay so now let's zone in on this one so let's make a div give it a class and we're gonna go single product single dash product okay and let's give it also before that let's go we want this small container we want to still use that small container space so small container and single product two classes for this div enter now everything's going to be inside this and now in here let's give it that div Class equals row. Enter. And <clears throat> this is going to have a div class equals call to. Call to, actually. Sound good? All right. Okay, in our first column of call to, we are going to put a picture. How does that sound? So we're gonna do IMG space SRC equals <coughs> equals it's going to be gal gallery dash one 
dot j p g but as you can see I forgot to give it the folder images forward slash and it's gallery dash one awesome outside of the quotations let's give it a width uh, let me show you what that is actually doing first though boom there so we got our picture right there okay <coughs> All right, all right. So now what we're going to do is go, now let's give it a width equals 100%. Whoops. And for later, what we're going to do, need to do, is have this. So we're going to go ID equals product image, but I M G. That's going to be for later for our JavaScript later. Okay. Now, good. Save that. Boom. Okay, now. We're going to just get everything set up first, and then we'll style it <clears throat> the way that we want it. We're going to go we're going to do here we go. <clears throat> After the image, now let's create a new div and let's go class equals small dash image or sorry, IMG and row, small image row. Okay. Now, inside of there, we're going to give our small image columns that we have. So the first one will be div equals class equals small dash i m g call. Okay. And here's where we're going to give that image. <clears throat> we can actually copy this and then change it out. So instead of gallery one, well, we're going to leave gallery one for the first one. Good. And we're going to do that. We're going to have four of these. So copy. One, two, three, four. So we got gallery one for the first one. Two, three, and four. Save that. Save that. Okay, so we got these two the same. Then here, here, and here. <coughs> okay. Sound good? Sound good. So now let's um let's let's go ahead and style this a bit. Let's go ahead and style this a bit. So we're gonna go to our style.css. We've got our all products page here. Copy that. And now let's go product details page. Okay, we're going to start with, whoops, we're going to start with 
can close those. We're going to start with single product. Copy right here. Period with single product and curly brace. Single oh, because there's a space. No space. Okay, single product, let's go margin top. Let's get some space from the top. 80 px. Okay. Next, we're going to do to narrow it in space call dash two curly brace. Focus on the columns now. Let's go padding 20px on all four sides. All right. That's the space inside it. So now the same thing. Let's go right here. And now focusing on the image, I am G, curly braces. Let's go no padding here. Zero. Okay. Just getting it all set up. <clears throat> all right. So now, let's do, where were we at? So let's go save this. Let's go small image row right here, dot, small image row, curly brace. We're going to do display. Flex. And then, so save that. So now we got, they're all side by side. And here we're going to do, what are we going to do? We're going to do um, justify content space between. Space between, yes. Save. Okay. And now, you can copy this, but then make sure to change row to column, curly brace, good. And so here we go, since there's four, we're going to do flex basis 24%. Save. So there you got a little space in between now. Space in between. And let's go cursor pointer. So once we hover over it, or the cursor's over it, it's now a little Mickey Mouse hand. Okay, good. So that's organized there. Now, so that's one of our columns. Now we got to make our other column for the words. So let's go product details. Okay, <clears throat> so go down, we got one, two, three, so leave two at the bottom, and let's go div, class equals, now this is our second column, call two, good, so now in here, we're gonna put some of the details in there. <clears throat> so let's go paragraph tag, p tag, and let's go home slash t shirt. Next. We're going to go give it an H1. H1. It's going to be, it's called red 
printed like the name of our t-shirt. By HRX. Little brand we have. That's over here. Home t-shirt. There you go. Okay, let's give it a H4. And on this H4, we'll put the price. So it'll be, it was $50, right? Nicely done. Okay. And now let's give a drop down menu like we did earlier. Select. And let's give it some options. And those options will be select size. Good. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, first one, let's go small, medium, whoops, large, Excel. And then 2x, 2xl, save. There we go, we got our little drop down, and we got our little drop down menu. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, now we want them to be able to pick, you know, pick, pick the one they want, how many they want. So under select, let's go input. And input, it's going to be type equals number. And the starting value first, we'll put one. Okay. Let's go give it an A tag. So we got a link going. Um, href, whoops, href equals, we don't actually have a place where it's going, so just go ahead and put that. <clears throat> actually, we could, we'll update it later, but we'll, we'll put it to the cart. We'll put, uh, put it to our cart page, but remind me to do that later. So we'll go class equals btn and then we'll go add to cart save all right so there we got our button now so we'll click on how many we want okay also let's add um, details about the product right so we'll go h3 and we'll go product details. Um, okay, let's save that. And what we can do also is Put a little so on font awesome. Let me show you. So font awesome. Let's get this little logo. Uh, indent. Indent. I think that's what's yeah, right here. That kind of that shows the details. So right here, copy that. Go back to our site. And let's put that there. Indent button. Boom. Just like that. Okay. Let's give 
so it matches the styles that we've already created. Let's give it the FA. All right, that's good. Let's give that the FA, solid and indent. All right, next, we're gonna go enter, and we're gonna go BR for a break, because after that, now we're gonna put the product details. Um, you know, we can just write some cool stuff, but let's go uh, placeholder text. Just grab a sentence here. Boom. There. Just some, you know, text about the t-shirt, we'll say. All right. And now, let's uh, style this so that it looks a little nicer. A little nicer. All right, so let's go to our style.css. Do, 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 product details page. Very good. Okay, we got this, this, this. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is single product. Copy. And we're gonna focus on our H3. And for this H3, let's do margin, top and bottom, 20px, and left and right, zero, right and left, zero. Next, let's go, again, product details, but focusing on the select button, I mean the select options. Let's go display block. There you go. Display block, let's give it some padding. And that's 10 px. Uh huh. Enter. And then let's give it a margin at the top, actually. Margin top 20 px. Good. Okay. <clears throat> Next, let's grab this again. And let's focus on the input part. What in put? There we go. Curly brace. All right, input right here. All right, so now let's start with width. 50 px. I slow down, blind. 50 px. Semicolon. Okay. Height. 40 px, semicolon. Padding on the left side. That's going to be 10 px. There we go. Padding left. Font size. 20px, let's go, it's a little larger, margin on the right, so, on the, so we get a little bit more space right here, margin on the right, let's go 20px, good, <clears throat> and then border. Same border we've been doing, 1px, solid, and good, semicolon, 
see. There you go. A lot more uh, uniform. <clears throat> now let's remember when it's in focus. We don't want that extra border thing that comes. Whoa. Focus. Curly brace. This thing is what I'm talking about. So, see how that blue thing? We don't want that. So, outline none. All right. Now let's see this right here. It's just black. Let's um, let's clean that up. So single product. Remember we gave it an FA. Curly brace. Oh, we gave it the class FA. So I put the dot there. And let's go color. And the color is going to be our site color that we've been using. There we go. And let's give it a margin. Margin to the left side. We get some space. And we'll go 10 px. Good. Okay. So that looks nice about our product. Um, <clears throat> that looks pretty good. Missing anything? Missing anything? I don't think so. I think we're good. Okay. So now, what we want to do? So right now, it's just all static. Nothing does anything. We want to now, when we click this, it's going to change this picture. So that is going to be some JavaScript. So if we go to our script.js, this is going back to now when we did this right here. This ID, product IMG. Okay. So we're going to create a new one. We'll call this like the gallery JS for product gallery. And remember now I'm in my script.js. Okay, save. All right, in my script. Dot js we're gonna now we can go here copy this product image and we're gonna create that into a variable so var equals product image equals document dot get element by ID and that ID which we gave it is product image um, and don't forget the quotations product image quotations good and semicolon next we're going to create another variable for our small image small image so what we are going to do for this one is var small i m g equals document dot get element by class name. Let me, and then, hold on, parentheses, quotations, and the class name was small img, correct? So let me just say that, let me just check again. Class name, Small IMG. So I think 
right here, we need to switch this to class. Whoops. And it is going to be small dash img. Okay. Uh, we can copy this whole thing, actually, because it needs to change the ID. Easy. Copy. Copy. There. Boom. 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 Okay. So remember, in our products page, this... Good, good, good. This top one is product image, and these down ones right here small img okay so we got product image product image get an element by id and class name small image okay ready okay okay so now we got our variables now we're gonna go small img Whoops. Paste. Small img. And this is, we're creating what is called an array. So, we're going to use this one. It's like the square parentheses. And put zero in there. That is the first one. We start at zero. Dot on click. On click. Very good. Let me make sure. Got everything. Oh, no space here. It matters. It matters. Small img. Dot on click equals function. equals function, parentheses, and curly brace. Very good, very good. Also, see that semicolon? I need to make sure to put a semicolon right there. All right, small img on click equals, let's put a space right here, function semicolon, okay. Now, what we want to happen is product img, meaning the big picture, to equal, oh, whoops, okay, we want the source, so like the image, source, to equal small img zero source switching out the pictures make sense because we see in the source right this small img that we created here this is the source so we're switching out the pictures okay and we got zero and then dot src and semicolon Okay, good. Make sure that is correct. Product img dot source equals good. All right, so now let's copy that. One, two, three, three times. One, one, two, three. And this is what's changing. One, one and then two two and three well I said three and put four three three very good very good okay <coughs> let's save that all right 
we should be good here. I saved it. Um, let's make sure our link. We linked it right here already. Product details page. We can refresh. Woo! We did it. There is. Nice. Good job, Blaine. Good job. Good job. Okay. And did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Okay. So, there's our product details page. Here at the bottom, you know, you, you can see some related products we have. But then here you're at the product details. Boom. Boom. It ends up changing. Changing your different products. Good job. Okay, so now let's get some touch-ups though. This is not right. This is too close. So let's go to our CSS. And I see, so if you look here, uh, where are we at? Column two, there, this column two, it's a class. So what do I gotta put for a class? So these are not doing anything. I gotta put a period. Same for here. Period. Save. Look at that. See? Much nicer. <laughs> Craziness. Alright. Okay. So red printed t-shirt. There we go. Okay. So now, hold on, let me see this right here. I don't like this space. So what I can do, if I don't like that, I can go here. I can put BR, whoops, there. And now that looks much better. So now we got our spaces here. And now we need to let the viewer, the user know what, what this is going on. So what those are is related products a related products here. So what we need to do now is before related products, let's go copy and let's give it a like just title so they know what we're even looking at. And let's go div class equals it's just a small container. We'll apply those styles to it. And within that, let's go div class equals let's do our row and row two styles. And within there, let's go h2. These are related products. Good. Related products. There you go. Right there. And we'll have a like a view more portion of it. So we'll go give it like a paragraph P P tags. And let that be a link, a tags, and that's going to say view more right there. And in there, let's get it to direct it to the all products page. So href equals uh, products.html. Good products.html. Oh, and then <clears throat> what we also want to do is, let me see. So it goes to our products page. So I save that and now click and hold on. Let's, re, let's rerun that. There we go. Oh, 
because I got product, products, that HTML. There we go. View, boom, we're at our products page. So now though, when we click this, we want to go to our, our product details page. Bow, and it is. But it is because, here, let me show you why. And so if we go to products, you need to remember to do this. I think I did it earlier, not in the video. It is right here. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna minimize that. So in my products page, as you can see, products page, my first product is right here. And here is the like red printed image. The, the letter, the words, so here, let me show you. Product page, this. This image is this right here. And you right now probably just have IMG and maybe a hashtag right there. So go ahead and add this, productdetails.html. And also if they click the word, add this. Sorry about that. All right, boom, boom, boom. So now that's how you link. So when they're here and they click here, now it goes to your products page. View more, goes back to products. Okay, and done, we're good. One last thing, I don't like this right here. I wanna put it right beside. And easy, quick adjustment. Put this in your H3. Command X, put it here in the H3, bah, just something little. Nitpicky, but it's smooth. Okay, now next we'll do done details page and we'll do the add to cart page next.